a Cape Prophet, Vancouver's Duck Lady. Yes, hello. Uh, Shirley, yes, this is the Duck Lady. For the past 21 years, I've lived in a Vancouver hotel room with a series of five ducks. I love them all like children. The first duck I lived with, I called Harvey the Duck. Harvey, he's the holy duck. Literally a holy duck. <laughs> uh, God was showing us this in every way. I didn't plan on it. I was on the bus going somewhere I don't know where. All of a sudden, my spirit voice, his male, said, get off the bus here. And I saw that I was, there was a hatchery right across the street. And he said, go in, you're going to get a duck. And I'm getting one of those too, so oh, don't jump. the jumper is probably mine. He was the most sweetest, wonderful little guy. Harvey never hurt another animal. He got along with every animal, dog, cat, you name it. He literally behaved like a human being. And you could say, what's your name? He'd say, Harv. And who's that? Mom. And if you gave him a treat, he'd wag his tail and say, whoa. Harvey had a special ability. He could heal people. One day, he met an eight-year-old girl. She had mittens on, and I said, do you want to hold Harvey the duck? He can pat him. The dad said, she's got these sores on the back of her hand for three months. The doctors couldn't do anything about it. I did not say anything about Harvey being able to heal them. All I said was, Harvey's a magic duck. Wishes come true off his feathers. You just pat him, and you wish whatever you want. And the mother phoned me the next morning, and she said, you know, we woke up, and these, her hands were perfectly healed. And I said, oh, thank you, Jesus. And the little girl said, no, Mom, it was Harvey the duck that healed me. <laughs> the child knew. And when Harvey died, like I, I, I was like in shock. Now, it was interesting because after he had died, I had a couple of psychics say, I see Harvey, he's dressed in the black suit, and he's just a big traveler, and he's happy as all get up. After Harvey died, I was given two other ducks whom I called Webster and Holly. Webster, Holly. I discovered that Webster had a special talent. He could paint pictures. There you go, darling. OK, Webster's going to paint. And Webster painted perfect pictures of exactly what we asked for. They're incredibly detailed. But there, he had little bumps on his feet, on his toes, so that when he did pictures, it was like ink blot art. And I said, you're going to paint such and such. Yo, 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 he'd go. And I'd stand him on the paint and then stand him on the canvas. And he'd walk around on for like less than two minutes. He'd always do a tiny little piddle to put his self into it. All the media attention I had got me into a lot of trouble where I lived. I had to give up Webster and Holly. Soon after, I was evicted and had to live on the street. I was 51, I was very sick, and it was getting cold at night, so I had the big garbage bags. And believe me, when you see yourself climbing into that garbage bag, you know you're nothing. You're garbage. I'm sorry. When I came down with the multiple sclerosis, I would be walking down the street and all of a sudden my legs would collapse up from under me. And I didn't understand what was going on and I would sit there until I could walk again. And as the multiple sclerosis got worse and more often I was falling down and sitting there on the street, all of a sudden it's like people were kicking dirt at me and people were putting their ashes from the cigarettes on top of me and spitting on me as I was sitting there waiting to get my strength back. 
hand, I couldn't have, why were they doing this? What? And saying, ah, oh, she's some damn drunk or she's some damn, you're drug addict, get off the drugs, go out and get a job. And God does not let me hit. All my life I have never been able to hit or scream to this day. When I, everything in me wants to hit. My life started to improve when I got another special duck called Bobby. Don't look, just reach in and take one fast. And good luck, open them up. With Bobby, I raised money for my charity, Duck Soup. Over the years, I've given out over $25,000 to homeless people. It's like a lottery. The street people win varying amounts of money hidden in small packages of cookies. I do everything myself, yeah. I buy, uh, sure. I buy them retail, I cook them, I deliver them, all of it. It's all my money. The $100 winners are the super duck. The $50 winners are the lucky duckies. The people on the street, they especially want money because they want to buy what they want to buy with it. And I, I really felt bad when I hear people saying, well, what are you going to do with this money? It's none of their business. If you win a million dollars, who's to tell? Why, why should we care what you spend is on? You can spend it on whatever you want. You can throw it away on silly things or give it away to people. Or There was one guy who had won money and he threw it out to the public. He was like me, he wants to make people feel good. And when you're making them feel good, it makes you feel good. I got it too. Two is better than nothing. Yep. Okay, Thank you, bye. I wanted them to feel like a winner, even if it's a damn one or two dollars. People couldn't understand, why would I be giving away my money when I didn't have anything myself? They didn't understand. I wanted to make these people feel, raise their self-esteem and make them feel happy. And it's like a draw, it's like an excitement. And they're not paying for anything, they're not buying a ticket. They're, I just come up unexpectedly and this is it. Eight dollars. You got eight. Wow, eight dollars, good one. Thank you. Okay, good congratulations. He got eight dollars, who's next? When Bobby died, it hit me very hard. Because she was a duck soup duck, but she was also my life. She was my friend, my companion, my business partner. She was everything. She was all I had. They're in this box right here. Oh, they're in the box? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I so, thought they'd be running around in it. Well, oh. we just brought some here to you. And these are all just one day old? Uh, they were hatched yesterday, yes. Yeah. So they See, look who's in the center with the neck stretching lungs. Yeah, that's right. There you See? go. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah, this is Bobby. I know this is Bobby. Yeah. Are you a jumper? Because my Bobbies are usually jumpers. Yeah. Oh, you're such a sweet little baby. Hello, Bobby. Hey, you say bye-bye. Say bye-bye, guys. Yeah, we're gonna have another life. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, I got you. My big yawn. You're tired, but you're not gonna give in to it, are you? Because there's too much going on. The little wings, the little wings out. Yes, you make so many people happy. You do. You put a smile on their face. And for a little bit, they forget about their problems and they feel happier and they've got something to tell, a story to tell their friends that they saw a baby duck and they touched a baby duck. Yeah, you are so special. You just make them so happy.